Tonight we're hearing from staff at O'Connor's just two days after 31 year old Amanda Dabrowski was stabbed in the popular Worcester restaurant. Dabrowski later died from her injuries and some who witnessed the gruesome attack say they never expected it could have happened at such a family oriented spot. Our Cam Jandro is live outside of O'Connor's tonight and joins us now with those details. Cam. On a prior to the workday, staff members here at O'Connor's restaurant held a prayer service remembering the victim of Wednesday night stabbing. Now O'Connor's has been here on West Boylston Street for more than three decades. And for some of the people who have been here for that entire time, they didn't think it was ever possible something like this would happen. And the past 48 hours have been rather difficult. When I saw the lady lying there and she had been covered in blood, I didn't recognize her at first because her hair was so matted. Karen Hennessy was behind the bar at O'Connor's when Carlos Asensio attacked and stabbed Amanda Dabrowski in the restaurant. And I realized that about an hour and a half prior to that, I had escorted her into this room here where she was a member of the book club. Hennessy has worked at O'Connor's for more than 30 years. He and owner Brendan O'Connor say they never imagined something like this could ever happen at their place. You see this life being taken? I mean, our thoughts are completely uh, with, the, with the victim here. She, uh, she didn't deserve this. Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce President Tim Murray was a customer Wednesday night. Murray says he heard a horrifying scream and went to see what happened. You knew somebody was in distress, and I think like several others, you got up um, to see what we could do. Murray helped keep Asensio on the ground after others disarmed him. He says Alan Carson, who was also stabbed, along with other bystanders, should be commended. And the other uh, you know, person who, as I said, really was special in the situation was the, the woman, and I don't know what her name was, but she was a paramedic eating at the restaurant, and she began treating her right away. And For O'Connors, it was back to business Friday after taking the 4th of July off. Following tragedy, they say the only option is moving forward. We, we get through this. We get through it, and um, have we have to. You know, we're not going to let this guy defeat us just because he did this tragic thing. Events like this, if, if they define how we feel about it, they win. They're not going to win. Now, O'Connor says he's had multiple conversations today with a few of the customers who were actually there Wednesday night. He says the images are still fresh in his mind, as well as his staff members and some of those customers. And if anyone needs help, he's going to make sure they get it. We're live in Worcester tonight. I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight.